country haul yesterday, and I'm gonna let True Love uh, explain what we picked up. What did we get, hon? Okay, so I had so much fun. First uh -huh. is a star decoration. Christmas is coming. That I'm gonna put on our little entryway mirror. So I'm always not up to par with my dishes and needing a spatula, and the two I have are dirty, so. Why do more dishes when you can just buy more Betty Crocker utensils? is the real deal. Um, you know. Well, oh, yeah, these are part of our Christmas gift planning. And they smell good. Pine and apple cinnamon. Oh, smell really good. To an good. undisclosed recipient. Yeah. Surprise. Surprise. And then these are, for our house decorations, cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pine coats. Oh, they smell so good. You want to start a side business. Yeah, go collect pine cones sell pine and charge people. I will buy them. Put, not... put them in a bag and sell <laughs> But you have to make them smell good somehow. Yeah. Because our pine, I could pick pine cones out of the backyard, but they don't smell like cinnamon. And then apple cinnamon potpourri. And my plan is to dump half of this in a vase and put a couple, one or two of these on top and, and do that twice and put those on our mantle. I think it's like green. green. And I'm going to use these for under my sink. Two under my sink and two in my linen closet to organize shampoos and things that are not being used to store them out of the way and under the sink for, you know, the dish soap, uh, uh, dishwasher little packs and garbage packs. So this is our Dollar Tree. How did we buy all this? Cash money. Cash money. And I had, oh, and then I also bought two candies and then I had $5 left over. We did not just go on a Dollar Tree spending spree. <laughs> we had this cash money. Yeah, this was like a, yeah. But it was a spree of like stuff I didn't need. It was stuff I got, I wanted. I just wanted to see. Cause right. I have little storage things already, but I wanted bright green ones. And I got them. Thanks, honey. Next topic. I'm gonna come. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. Let me begin by saying, excuse the puffy jacket, but I'm sitting in my shed and it's freezing out. All right, let me begin by explaining. For those of you that are regular visitors to my vlog every day, if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, he's basically the daily vlogging king. Truly, the daily vlogging king. Now there are other people like Roman Atwood and Fun for Louie and Mr. Ben Brown and Sam and Nia and the life of Tom and Dose of Fusey. You can tell. I, I know these people, well, I don't know these people, but you know, I, I sometimes watch these people. I know who they are. So, Casey Neistat is the king. Basically, he started, started daily vlogging March, I think it was 25th or something, 2015. 18 months ago from the date of this video, which is now November 20th, 2016. In that time, he has accumulated five million subscribers five million subscribers he's legit he's the real deal and he works very very hard so what i'm about to talk about is my analysis of his video from yesterday november 19th 2016 when he announced to the youtube world youtube world <laughs> he's done He's done. He's done. No more daily vlogging. But I can tell you that it's been an amazing journey, Casey. And I want to thank you from the get-go for what you've done for the YouTube community and for all the inspiration that you have brought to YouTube. For example, you saw how he started his vlog with that airplane flying over his head. Well, in addition, he got really raw, like this moment. Time in my life. This is it. This is me summiting the tallest mountain in the southern and western hemisphere. This should be a cross. Cross, there it is. We summited. We shouldn't have. We should have turned around. But we summited. So along the way, Casey has been very, very, <laughs> very good in his video production. In fact, he has let us see him in very vulnerable moments with his wife, Candace. Promises to see if we can find it. 
I don't remember that. You sure it was me? Positive. Because we were having a fight in the park. Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we were like breaking up. We were like screaming at each other. Those yeah. were the good old days. Those were the good old days. Game of Thrones starts in 21 minutes. Are you ready? Casey also made a UPS driver, one of the most famous UPS drivers in the entire world. Here's Marvin. You got it. I'm doing much better than I thought, man. Yeah, 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 baby. Right in the hollow boat, man. Now, don't you think this would make you a more effective uh, when it comes to delivering packages? Yeah, you guys probably should think about it doing this thing, man. Especially to deliver the express going right to the city. Oh my God. Just paint them brown. Paint them brown. <laughs> Some of us who have been following Casey for months and months now have seen his daughter, his beautiful daughter Francine, grow up. I mean, from the time she was barely rolling over. You can do it. Oh, what you got? No, no. You have to look into the camera and say, hey guys, what's up? To the time she was walking. And yes, we got to watch Casey's son, Owen, grow up and go from a, whatever, junior in high school to a freshman in college by going off to college in this video. Yeah. Don't crash into the car in front of us. And how could any of us forget the moment Casey, after 16, 17 months of uploading a video every single day, announced on his vacation in Italy that he was stopping the daily vlog. I just like, I need a break. I think today is my 534th day in a row where I've uploaded a video, and I've uploaded like 550 videos or something like that in those 530 something days, like that's crazy. And when I was booking this trip, the first trip that me and this one took since the baby was born, like a proper vacation, I said to her, I'm not gonna daily vlog it. And Kenneth actually encouraged me to daily vlog it. So after watching Casey yesterday announce that he was gonna stop daily vlogging indefinitely in this video, It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. That is, with each success comes a bigger, more ambitious goal. With the success of this vlog, it has only made me hungrier. And I'm acting on that right now by moving on. Well, you can. And this is my small little, eh, I don't want to say plea, but a thesis that you can make a daily video that's pretty high quality. Truly, pretty high quality. And make great videos with Oscar. That's all I'm saying here. That's all I'm saying here. And I know your videos with Oscar, or whoever you're gonna make videos with, are gonna be great, but it's the daily video, the authenticity, the vulnerability of the daily vlog that people really love, all right? All right, that is all. got hot wax on my hand. The only way to truly move on is just to drop the mic. So with that, 